Are we in frame? How's that for a sound sick Peter McKinnon style? What is up guys? It is your boy Ritter from Watch Society and I've just downed one, two. Actually, this is my third espresso today and I'm just ready to talk to you about some shit. Today, there's gonna be a short video where I tell you about what do authorized dealers really mean when they say, this guy, oh, he's a friend of the brand. What is the actual secret meaning of friend of the brand? At least on my side of the world in the Middle East here. Let's get right into it. And they're all, uh, yeah, yeah, those are new. Yeah, I can do that now. It's the end of Ramadan, so. So aftermarket dealers, they buy from other dealers and they make a marginal, a very small marginal profit actually, considering that they have bought it for a premium too. And they buy off from one off flippers. This is the guy who's just gonna buy the watch and run up to the nearest aftermarket dealer and sell it for a ridiculous profit. And again, they also make a small marginal profit there. But they also buy from those so-called friends of the brand. Blue sky dwellers. 135. 135, right? Now, who are those friends of the brand? They're not like you and I, they're not collectors, they're not there to build a profile and eventually get their desired models. That's not what they do. These guys basically come in and they buy all of the stuff that is really not moving. So say 10 Shalinis, for example, in respect of getting two, three Daytonas and maybe a Submariner and something else. So they'll have first-hand allocation, first-hand priority, in fact. These guys basically are on another level, a whole nother tier. Now, how do I know all of this? Well. I went to look at a 3710 discontinued Patek Philippe Nautilus with the Roman numerals. The first generation Nautilus. This is used. This Close back. And Roman numerals. Don't ask me why I was looking at it. It's the one with the close back. And I don't know if I'm going to buy this one or not. I'm not really sure. We'll come to that a bit later. But generally, I was there to look at that piece. And this guy just comes out of nowhere and dumps a ridiculous amount of Datejust, like six, seven of them. So this is Datejust Roman Dog Oyster Flex Hummer. And they're very difficult to get nowadays. You'll be lucky to go into a boutique right now and get a Datejust 41 on Jubilee or even an Oyster. But anyways, this guy comes in to dump all of that. And in the middle, he had like two platinum Daytonas with the Arabic doll. He had a day date platinum with the Arabic doll. He had also passed the new LV Submariner reference in addition to a discontinued blue dial Smurf with a 2021 card that was right in front of my eyes. Wow, this is 2021. He had just dropped all of this and I just pulled him on the side. I'm like, how did you manage to get all of this? How is that even possible? And why are they all stickered with barcodes and, and everything? And he was very, very sure. He sounded very, very confident about it. And his answer to me is very simple, is that he's a friend of the brand. It is people like that why we can't get our watches. Of course, the allocation that is already very tight had been given in priority to people like that who could just get anything they want at any given point in time and sell it to aftermarket dealers while you and I would be on an infinite wait list. It's not even a wait list, right? And you guys may know this, they just right now are on something called the suspended list. That is the authorized suspended list, meaning you would ask for it and they would tell you, sorry, it's on a suspended list. You can order this watch, which I think is just ridiculous. I remember the days where they just would just be right in front of you and nobody would touch them. They just are really difficult to get right now. Anything between a 36 blue dial Jubilee on white gold or a 41 as well are very, very difficult to get. And this guy managed to get access to all of them. In addition, of course, to the Platinum Day Day, the Platinum Daytonas, two of the Platinum Daytonas, and he just sold them right in front of me. Even if we make it into the wait list, that is never going to happen. The seller himself would probably know that it's never going to happen because the priority would go to someone like that who's helping the brand move models that no one wants to buy. And that is the truth. Well, I'm not really sure if that was two minutes, but you got the point. Catch you guys soon.
If you guys want to find out if I end up picking the Omega or the Day Just, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell as I'll be making that reveal in my next video. Also, by the way, I'll be announcing the first winner of the G-Shock 2100 series. There's still room for more submissions, so don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below that you're simply in for it, plus the color of the G-Shock that you would like to have.